In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a high value Iman Bazi style animation in DaVinci Resolve. And if you're someone who wants more video editing jobs, having this animation in your, in your portfolio is going to help you a lot. So let's get into it. First, we are going to need this fusion composition. Let's bring it in. Okay, let's hop right into fusion. Now let's add our background. When we do that, let's go on the background and turn the alpha all the way down so it's transparent. Uh, after that, we are going to need another background node. So let's add in a background node. Let's merge it over and let's add a rectangle mask to it. Okay, let's resize it. That's about right. So what do we want next? We want some corner radius so it lo looks a bit nicer so for the background let's go we don't want a solid color we want a gradient let's take the gradient in and you see these dots you just bring them over to the place you want them to be so something like this okay something like this looks nice and i just don't want this to be purely white so let's click on this one and just make it a bit like light gray or something like that okay next we are gonna need this hand holding a diamond png so let's just merge it over okay nice click on the merge and just reposition it okay i want it to be a bit smaller so maybe not like that something like this yeah something like this that looks nice and just put it right here so next thing we do is click on the merge and in the operator we go to a top so it just cuts off and it's just in, in the top of our rectangle so what do we need now we need a text node okay let's bring in a text node and we are just gonna type in i value okay for the font we can actually just find orbel okay and we are gonna go light italic like this let's just put it here somewhere around here is nice and next thing we are gonna do is go to character level styling go to the modifier select just the word value and we are gonna change it to bold italic like this so it looks a bit nicer okay what can we do now we can actually animate our rectangle oh yeah and in merge 3 same thing go to here and put to the top so now we want to animate our rectangle we are gonna go and put a keyframe on height and we are gonna go some 25 frame frames forward and put another keyframe go back to our first keyframe and just bring the height all the way down like this Next thing we can do, we can go to the spline editor, click on height, click this zoom to fit button, select all keyframes, and just press S on the keyboard to smooth it out, and then press T and just fix in, ease in, and ease out. It's just gonna be that little bit nicer, so let's see it. Okay, that's a nice animation, nice and simple. Next, what can we do? We can actually add in our outline. But in DaVinci Resolve, it's kind of meh to add in an outline, but we can do it with a few nodes. So let's just add a row dilate like this. Next, we need a background. Bring it in and turn it to example white, but you can choose any color. Uh, the color you choose here is the Color that your outline will be so you can choose whatever you want let's go like this then we need a merge node let's just bring it in just place it on the top next thing connect this to this and then arrow will dilate to our background and background to our merge so we have something like this now what can we do now we go to the operator and just put in under and for our size just bring it in just a tiny bit so it looks something like this and now we have this nice 
next thing we can do we can add a bit of a spice to it so let's bring in a fast noise nose fast noise node and then we can go back to the click on the merge and just type in this place here's this place by the way if you want to bring out that quick menu it just shift space and it brings it out so yeah now we're gonna plug in fast noise in our displays let's click on the fast noise and let's heat read okay that looks nice and maybe we change a bit of a c let's see now oh yeah that looks nice good okay what can we do now and after this we can actually spice it up a little bit more so let's open the menu and just type in transform and you don't want uh, the one with fx you want the usual just transform add it in and when you add in you can actually do a little bit of keyframing again and we can just keyframe it here and go like 15 frames forward and change the position Oh, let's go back to this one and then we can actually keyframe the yarn on the same positions and just change the yarn like this on the other next keyframe so it goes like this and then just open up the spline editor again zoom to fit we can just click this is actually a select all button let's select all press s and then press d was all the out okay and do something like this so now it looks something like this oh it looks very nice so now we have something like this which looks awesome and i can guarantee you if you have some of these imangaji animations in your portfolio people will want to work with you 